Just to uh, touch on the revolution almost that's taken place in French rugby, I was looking back. So take 2018, for instance. Jack Brunel is the coach. The French come over. They lose the game. They're given the night out in the town. They get into all sorts of bother. Eight of them are suspended. The plane's delayed because the police are talking to several of the players. And France finished fourth. The number of players from that match day 23 involved today, zero. Zero. Mm. All gone. Mm. Not surprising, and yeah. listen, we all know discipline, lack of discipline off the field often manifests itself on the field. And I think when you've got Sean Edwards in place as a defensive coach and almost a heartbeat of this team, he just doesn't accept it. And you know, one of the, you know, I was speaking to Matt before, and interestingly for me, Gail Fiku, the way he's developed himself in the time that Sean Edwards has been there, he was a sort of bit of a Rolls Royce. 13, outside break, don't re not really interesting in defending, give me the ball, I'll show you what you can do going forward, but not, go not defensively. He's transformed himself into the defensive leader of the team in, in the backs, a massively aggressive defender, huge work rate, everything that you would have thought was you know, ca uh, counterintuitive to the type of player he was before. That he, and Sean, that's a sort of example of what Sean Edwards has done right through this team. And it's no wonder there's, there's um, yeah. zero players have, have, uh, are now in the squad mm. because it's a completely different team, not just in terms of personnel, but in terms of mentality. Yeah, it's some turnaround all the same. Not many with zero from match day 23, four years on. Well, it, it tells you about the brilliant French planning for World Cup 2023. Yeah. That they, they've targeted this group of young players many years ago. They have brought them through and Galtier has changed the culture of the French team. Mm. So Galtier is your team first. The greatest example of this is, is Thomas Ramos, who's on the bench today. Unbelievably talented young man. Can play 10, 12, 15, goal kicker. He's an incredibly talented guy. He, and I, I, I say this with, with um, respect for Thomas. I've watched him go through his career. I've really rated him. But he was very egocentric. You know, I should be in the team. I'm good enough. I that. And Galtier, everyone says he's not good at man management. I don't know. It's old school. He said, mate, until you change your, your attitude, you're not in. Mm. And he, he didn't budge. So a lot of players who aren't in this side because they say they, they've got egos. They're, they're rock stars. He doesn't want a rock star. Okay. Your team first. And this, this is what's good about this young group. Mm. They are team focused. He, what, he, he, he must have very good man management skills. Because you can see it when you watch them, that this is a team, they're really together, they play for each other. The DNA of this team now is very different to the yeah. DNA of the team we would have seen previously. They would have been lazy, they would have been ill-disciplined. Yep. We don't get that from this mm. team anymore.